This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We are here for you. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us. Sad news tonight for Major League Baseball fans. Roy Halladay has died. The former Major League pitcher, considered by many a likely future Hall of Famer, was killed in a small plane crash in the Gulf of Mexico. ABC's Chuck Silverstein has more. Roy Halladay, a two-time Cy Young Award winner who pitched a perfect game and a no-hitter, died Tuesday after his private plane crashed in the Gulf of Mexico. His two-seater Icon A5 went down around noon off the coast of Florida. The cause still unclear. A caring husband who loved his wife, Randy. He loved his two boys tremendously. Uh, he coached their baseball teams. Roy Halladay! Halliday was an eight-time All-Star and one of only six pitchers in baseball history to win a Cy Young Award in both the American and National Leagues. He accomplished that feat with the Toronto Blue Jays in 2003 and the Philadelphia Phillies seven years later. Halliday's former team tweeting this statement, expressing their sadness over his loss. Sentiments echoed by members of the Pasco County Sheriff's Department. He was a part of our sheriff's office. His kids went to school with some of our kids. He was there whenever we needed him. He was a, probably one of the most humble human beings you'll ever meet. Halliday retired in 2013 after 12 seasons in the big leagues, and many consider him a shoe in for the Hall of Fame. One of the best pitchers ever pitched in the game of baseball. He was also an amateur pilot who often posted on social media about his love of small planes, including his icon A5. Halliday joins a growing list of players who died in plane crashes, including former Pittsburgh Pirates star Roberto Clemente and Yankees catcher Thurman Munson. He was just 40 years old. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York. A former bookkeeper for Girl Scouts of the Gulf Coast charged with scheme to defraud, learning her fate in court today. Prosecutors say Stephanie Person embezzled from the Girl Scouts by rerouting funds from active troop accounts into inactive troop accounts. She pled guilty in court last month. She's sentenced to 30 months in prison, followed by 27 years probation, and must pay more than $112,000. Well, voters across the Sun Coast hit the polls today to cast ballots in several races in the city of Venice. Count Council seats one and two were on the ballot. For council seat one, Mitzi Fieldler taking 59.46% of the votes and Emilio Carlissimo with 40.54%. For council seat two, Charles Newsom taking 55.96% of the votes and Deborah Anderson with 444 in Manatee County, John Chappie taking 59.95% of the votes for Bradenton Beach Mayor with Bill Sheeran coming in with 40.05%. Well, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan for a look at your first alert forecast. Thanks, Jack. And a, a beautiful night tonight. We've had mostly fair skies up and down the coast. and No real fog right now, but we are looking at a temperature of 70 degrees uh, currently. Um, there's Jacqueline drinking some water there, kind of keeping cool. <laughs> uh, there we go, 70 degrees right now. Live television, folks, that's what it's all about. Uh, dew point temperature 65 on that. Uh, the number's getting close. North, northeast winds at 6. The pressure 30.03 inches. And uh, that pressure is starting to rise ever so slowly right now. And as far as the maximum sustained winds, well, they're not too high. They're really quite light. Two mile an hour at Duet, and with these lighter winds, and it's very difficult again for fog uh, to form uh, with heavy winds, so there's a better chance inland right now. Uh, we'll see that in the morning. It'll be patchy fog, could be rather dense in some areas. Uh, not everyone's going to see the fog, but it'll be around. It's already starting to develop across parts of Florida. You'll see that in a little bit. Temperatures right now, low 70s near the coast. 67 Arcadia, 69 degrees in Mayaka City, and as far as those fog conditions go, there's quite a bit of fog off to the north, north of us right now. We'll talk more about the fog for Florida, though, coming up in just a little bit. Titan radar picture showing some rain to the north. Now, this is a cold front, and that cold front is heading southward, and it's going to get into Florida. I'll let you know how far it will get and whether it will cool us off coming up in just a few minutes. Jacqueline? All right, thank you, Bob. One reptile is starting to make its presence a little more known across parts of the Sun Coast. Iguana colonies are popping up in certain areas of Sarasota County. ABC 7's Rick Adams has more from Shamrock Park in Venice. While experts say more and more iguanas continue to make their way a little further north here in the state of Florida, especially in the southern parts of Sarasota County and especially in parks like this. If you've spotted a reptile that looks like this, then you're not alone. Iguanas are becoming a more common sight, mainly from the Venice area down to the south. 
Wildlife expert Damon Hurd says folks should not be too worried about iguanas. Green iguanas aren't really much of a threat to humans, and they're not much of a threat to our uh, native uh, wildlife because they survive on mostly green leaves and other plants. A lot more iguana colonies are now making their homes on the Sun Coast, mainly near a coastline. Some folks we talked with at Shamrock Park didn't want to come on camera, but they say they see iguanas all over the park. They've had time over the last couple decades to really um, grow in numbers, and as they grow in numbers, obviously, they need to expand and move out from one area to find other food sources and things like that. Hurt says although iguanas are more common in the southern parts of the state, they can occasionally be seen in northern Sarasota County and Manatee County. These are pictures of an iguana that was rescued last Wednesday near the Presbyterian Villas in Bradenton. Well, they're not really a danger. I mean, now, if, if your pet dog tried to fight with an iguana, it, it might bite them and claw them pretty good. But uh, typically, they're going to run away, and they're very fast. Uh, they can climb trees very fast, and they can swim really well. For homeowners who want to avoid any problems with iguanas, there is this advice. Don't leave brush piles around. Cl keep clean. Uh, trim trees. Uh, don't leave food sources available to them. Definitely don't feed them. And unfortunately, I didn't have any luck spotting an iguana here at Shamrock Park. But experts say your best shot at an iguana sighting is during the daylight hours. Reporting from Venice, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Rick. Well, the Haven in Sarasota celebrating the grand opening of a new training facility today. The 7,500 square foot Frank Stern Employment Training Center will provide training programs for adults with disabilities. These programs have been designed to develop confidence and a sense of independence for participants through practical experience. Individuals enrolled in the program have the opportunity to earn paychecks for their work. We are very excited. This was a long time coming. We actually had the vision for this about three years ago. Um, and through the generosity of the community, we were able to raise enough funds to uh, build it and hopefully move some people in here starting next week. Haven Industries has recently added five new companies and nine new contracts for clients to learn work skills and earn a paycheck. With the new training center, more will be added soon. East Manatee County is one step closer to opening a new high school for its growing community. The Manatee County School District breaking ground for North River High School this morning. The 98-acre site is located at the southeast corner of Martha Road and Erie Road in Parrish. Superintendent Dr. Diana Green says the high school will provide relief to the overcrowding at Lakewood Ranch, Palmetto and Braden River High Schools. But this community has been asking for this high school for a long time, and thanks to our voters, our community decided to extend the half cent sales tax, and that's the number one driving force why this high school can come online uh, August 2019. North River will be the first high school to open since Braden River in 2005. Well, a once homeless street performer who has touched people around the world has an exciting new chapter. Donald Gould went from being homeless to an overnight sensation when he was discovered playing a street piano in downtown Sarasota. Gould ended up in Germany after stories of his turnaround and his music spread across the globe. A woman in Germany contacted him when his music started to help her son. Her son is, also, is a handicapped boy and can sometimes be aggressive. However, Gould's music helped him calm down. The two are now a couple and have been performing together across Germany. They hope to visit Sarasota in the future. Perfect story there. Well, straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your first alert forecast. Plus, the Florida House voting on whether to honor slaves in a state memorial. And new details about the man accused of killing 26 people in a Texas church. What he did in the days leading up to that attack. Who else has been taking your prescriptions? Keep your medicine and your family safe and secure. Mind your meds. To learn how we can help, visit the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids at drugfree.org. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. 
Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The Morse Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the Morse Space Place. For 30 years, it's been an honor for the Michaels on East team to serve you. We love that our restaurant, wine cellar, and ballroom have become your favorite gathering places, and we love catering your parties. From everyday celebrations to life's greatest occasions, please join us soon for new culinary adventures. A toast to 30 years. And to many more. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. an absolutely gorgeous sunset this evening. It was so gorgeous out there. Yeah, you know, it, it, people wonder why I show so many of them, because they're so beautiful, and they're right. all very different uh, in some respects. Here's a time lapse of the Van Wezel webcam showing just beautiful conditions. And I say you always need a little cloudiness around to get the uh, different kinds of colors, but uh, when there's no clouds, you get this beautiful orange and pink that shows up after the sun goes below the horizon, and that's what we saw tonight, so uh, pretty nice. I must say so myself. And the uh, photos were sent in to pics at mysuncoast.com. This one from Raymond out on Lido just as the sun was going below the horizon just before it did so. And yesterday I had a photo sent in. They said they saw the green flash. It is a rarity. You can see it sometimes. And it's more due to the light getting to your eyes as opposed to a uh, green flash that kind of explodes as the sun sets. Now the fog is along the east coast right now. It's not all that thick at this time. A nine mile visibility is down near Fort Myers. And for us, 10 miles, and that's uh, what you're considered clear at this point, so no problems with fog. I think there'll be a little bit of patchy fog tomorrow morning, uh, starting the day off more so to the north. So if you have a commute north on I-75, say past Tampa, past Interstate 4, could be a little thicker up there. 70 degrees right now. We do have clear skies. The new point 65. Winds are light out of the north northeast at 6, and the pressure 30.03 inches. That's high, and it continues to rise ever so slowly. Now we're going to see this high pressure dominate our weather, despite the fact a cold front will slide down the state tomorrow and get over north central Florida. Unfortunately, it's not going to move on through and cool us down. 85 the high today. That was a well above average of 81 is our normal and 90 the record set back in 1996. Now the rainfall is dry and typically is a very dry month in November, so we don't anticipate a lot of rain. Uh, we don't see much on the horizon either. Temperatures right now upper 60s to low 70s, fairly uniform uh, due to the light winds coming out of the northeast. 73 at Whitney Beach, Holmes Beach here at 73 degrees now, and a 70 in Parrish, Bradenton, as well as into uh, places like the Meadows and Laurel Oak. One degree warmer, Kensington Park at 70, 72 at Osprey, Siesta Key 71. That's pretty much the same story in Northport, as well as into Inglewood, Rotunda, and into Port Charlotte, just a little bit cooler. Temperature forecast for us tomorrow will. Drop down basically into the upper 60s to mid 60s, but we'll warm up tomorrow by 1, 83 degrees in Sarasota, 84 in Orlando. And then again, temperatures will stay into the mid 60s for the most part tomorrow uh, night and uh, Thursday morning. Now, as far as that front goes, it comes down into north central Florida and eventually fizzles out just north of Tampa. 
and it looks like we will stay in the warm sector here. That means temperatures staying in the low to mid 80s. Now this is getting better organized. This is Rena, uh, which the winds now have popped up to 50 miles an hour. It's moving off to the north now and is not a factor to any land. And there it is. It's moving rather rapidly. The pressures have been falling, but uh, looks like it's going to head off to the north and then eventually to the northeast. Well, it will dissipate in the open waters of the Atlantic. These are the storms we uh, really like. They're well behaved and uh, this one a little late in the season. Well, the satellite and radar imagery showing some very cold air starting to spill southward now. And looking at some long range models in about two and a half weeks, right around Thanksgiving, it appears we're going to see some Arctic air move into the northeast. So if you have a plan up north, remember that, that it's going to be extremely cold. I think in places like Boston, Philadelphia, New York, uh, Cleveland, even into uh, Michigan, the temperatures are going to be extremely cold there, it looks like, as models are starting to come in agreement with that. Now the uh, Arctic air is now over the northern plains in North Dakota. For boaters, it shapes up like this. Uh, we are going to see seas running less than two feet tomorrow, so it should be good boating weather. A light chop out there, and uh, again, winds out of the northeast, turning to the north late in the day. Water temperature 80, I should say 75, 81 for beaches, and the next tide is a high tide at 226. And the forecast tonight, mostly fair, just a little bit of patchy fog, 66 for low. Tomorrow, that fog will burn off, and we'll see a nice day, 83 degrees. And temperatures will stay rather warm, it looks like, over the next seven days through Veterans Day. I know there'll be a lot of parades and uh, a lot of different activities going on throughout the day on Saturday. It looks to be good, just a slight chance for a late-day shower. Temperatures may be a little cooler as the weak front again comes down. Saturday night, Sunday morning, cool sinks down to only 78. And then it looks to be pretty good to start the work week. Jacqueline? All right, thank you, Bob. Not too bad of a week shaping up. Now to your voice, your vote. A big night for Democrats after winning the governorships in two states, Virginia and New Jersey. The victories come nearly one year after the presidential election. ABC Serena Marshall has the latest from the Virginia State Capitol in Richmond. In the first major election since President Trump's surprise victory last year, Democrats swept. But in Virginia, it's going to take a doctor to heal our differences. To, to bring unity to our people. And I'm here to let you know that the doctor is in. In Virginia, current Lieutenant Governor Ralph Northam is the projected winner, beating out former Republican National Committee Chairman Ed Gillespie. The election tight in the closing weeks, with both former President Obama and current President Trump backing their candidates. President Trump immediately tweeting from Korea, blaming the loss on Gillespie not embracing his policies. And while the Republican never campaigned with the president, he did back presidential positions. The race in the end, ugly, with ads focusing on hot-button political issues. Issues voters say weren't their priority. Instead, most pointed to health care as the number one issue. But two times as many voters voting in opposition to the president than supporting him. And it is a state that critically in the past has foretold a story about the midterm election year. Often it goes against the party in power and it starts to speak to the surge of interest that the opposition party has. The president not as important in the other big race, New Jersey. Democrat Phil Murphy winning with a sizable lead against the current lieutenant governor, bringing the end to the Chris Christie era. Also in Virginia, Democrat Danica Rome voted into the state legislature. She becomes the first openly transgender individual to be voted into any state legislature in U.S. history. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Richmond, Virginia. All right, thank you so much, Serena. The Florida House will soon vote on whether to create a state memorial to honor slaves and acknowledge the cruelty of slavery. The memorial would be built on the Florida Capitol grounds, and the bill has cleared its final committee stop today and now heads to the full House. Democratic Representative Keon McGee says the memorial would honor the men, women, and children who were enslaved and haven't been recognized for their contributions. A similar bill died last year when it was blocked by a Republican senator who's a descendant of a Confederate soldier. Now to Texas and new details tonight about the man who opened fire inside a church killing 26 people. What he did in the days leading up to the attack, plus how the tragedy could have been prevented. Here's ABC's Maggie Rooley. We're now learning that Sunday's massacre wasn't the first time Devin Kelly came to this church. Kelly attended the church's fall festival just days before he fired off hundreds of rounds in the middle of Sunday's church service. Nearly every single person inside this small house of worship was either shot or killed. Shooting them, you know, like, you know, ta 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 ta, ta. 
Now questions of how Kelly was able to buy his guns, despite his past convictions of violent domestic assault and newly released police records that show Kelly escaped from a New Mexico mental health facility in June of 2012. The police report notes that Kelly suffered from mental disorders, had been caught sneaking firearms onto Holloman Air Force Base, and was attempting to carry out death threats he had made on his military chain of command. Charges that should have prevented Kelly from ever buying the weapons, but the Air Force admits it never shared the domestic abuse charges with the FBI. We've taken responsibility and we're, we're going to find out what happened and fix it. And another challenge. The FBI acknowledges they have not been able to unlock Kelly's encrypted smartphone. I can assure you that we're working very hard to get into the phone. That's the same problem that frustrated the FBI in the San Bernardino massacre for weeks. The Pentagon says they're reviewing how the Air Force could have made this mistake, and they're questioning if other cases could also be falling through the cracks. In Sullivan Springs, Texas, Maggie Rulli, ABC News. Well, sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. Here's a look at what some people are calling our show. Would yeah, it be that... terrible if somebody has a prank, and I don't know if you have people like this in your life, <laughs> set up a fake dialect coach <laughs> who taught you all the wrong stuff, and then you just did a crazy, terrible job in the movie? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Take the trolley to Siesta Beach for the Crystal Classic Sand Sculpting Festival, November 10th through 13th. See master sand sculptors create works of art. It's family fun with hands-on kids activities, sand sculpting lessons, music, food, a party tent, and more. Visit SiestaKeyCrystalClassic.com. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Predoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Predoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline if you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death. You must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. <laughs> Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. It's bigger and better. The Siesta Key Crystal Classic Sand Sculpting Festival, November 10th through 13th. 24 international artists create massive sand sculptures. Enjoy four days and two nights with live music, food, a party tent, and more. See SiestaKeyCrystalClassic.com for details. Now, sports. 
The Tampa Bay Rays have extended a one-year $17.4 million qualifying offer to free agent pitcher Alex Cobb. The 30-year-old right-hander posted career highs for wins, games started, and innings pitched while going 12-10 in 2017. But with this qualifying offer, if Cobb decides to sign with another team, the Rays will get a high draft pick as compensation. And the Rays third baseman Evan Longoria claimed his third Rawlings Gold Glove Award tonight. Longoria being recognized as the best fielding third baseman in the American League. Longoria won the award over finalist Manny Machado of the Orioles and the Indians Jose Ramirez. Longoria is now the first player in franchise history to win three Gold Glove Awards. Well, Florida State has rescheduled its game against Louisiana Monroe for December 2nd. The game was originally scheduled for September 9th, but was canceled due to Hurricane Irma. When the game was first canceled, most thought it would not be made up. But the Seminoles are off to their worst start since 1976 and may need another win for bowl eligibility. Florida State has not missed a bowl game since 1981. Well, the big question in the NBA so far this season, what's wrong with the Cleveland Cavaliers? LeBron James and friends have lost six of their first 10 games this season, hosting Milwaukee tonight. With under six minutes left, the Cavs are up 111 to 101. Mirza Teletovic misses the three, and Giannis was there for the putback. That basket gives him 40 points in the game, but later the Cavs go up 111 to 103. James hits a three-pointer to put the game away. That puts the Cavs up 11. Cavs win it 124 to 119. Well, that's a look at sports. We'll have tonight's winning lotto numbers when we come back. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Rose takes her volunteering for Tidewell Hospice very seriously. But she knows how to have fun, too. And that's what she brings when we're invited to visit patients as part of Tidewell's pet therapy program. People love to see her. She really brightens their day. She makes people smile. And in end-of-life care, a smile can be a wonderful gift. Tidewell Hospice. It's more than you think. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422. 800-685-6422. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. 
The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. Holiday flower deliveries are looking a lot different in Oregon this year. One man started a new service called Goat Gram. Bouquets are grown on a local farm and delivered by, get this, a pair of goats. Ooh. Once you receive your flowers, you can either keep them or feed your bouquet to the goats. <laughs> the service costs $100, <laughs> though, to send that delivery, so a pricey feast for those goats <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you decide to feed them instead of keep them. It was kind of nice though instead of throwing them away you see those goats yeah. uh, having a feast on them right there a pretty good shot. That would be a good Facebook live right. watching them goats. There anyway go. um, we are looking at some nice weather tomorrow a little bit of fog in the morning look out for that. All right thank you Bob and thank you for joining us we'll see you back here tomorrow night.